The Mort d'Arthur, Book One, Chapter Three, of the birth of King Arthur, and of his nurture. Then Queen Igrania waxed daily greater and greater. So it befell after within half a year, as King Uther lay by his queen, he asked her, by the faith she owed to him, whose was the body. Then she sore abashed to give answer. Dismay you not, said the king, but tell me the truth, and I shall love you the better by the faith of my body. Sir, said she, I shall tell you the truth. The same night that my lord was dead, the hour of his death, as his knights record, there came into my castle of Tintagel a man like my lord, in speech and in countenance, and two knights with him, in likeness of his two knights, Brastius and Jordanus. And so I went unto bed with him, as I ought to do with my lord. And the same night as I shall answer unto God, this child was begotten upon me. That is truth, said the king, as ye say. For it was I myself that came in the likeness. And therefore dismay you not, for I am father of the child. And there he told her all the cause, how it was by Merlin's counsel. Then the queen made great joy when she knew who was the father of her child. Soon came Merlin unto the king, and said, Sir, ye must purvey you for the nourishing of your child. As thou wilt, said the king, be it. Well, said Merlin, I know a lord of yours in this land that is a passing true man and a faithful and he shall have the nourishing of your child. And his name is Sir Ector, and he is lord of fair livelihood in many parts in England and Wales. And this lord, Sir Ector, let him be sent for, for to come and speak with you, and desire him yourself, as he loveth you, that he will put his own child to nourishing to another woman, and that his wife nourish yours. And when the child is born, let it be delivered to me at yonder privy postern, unchristened. So like as Merlin devised, it was done. And when Sir Ector was come, he made fiance to the king, for to nourish the child, like as the king desired. And there the king granted Sir Ector great rewards. Then, when the lady was delivered, the king commanded two knights and two ladies to take the child, bound in a cloth of gold and that ye deliver him to what poor man ye meet at the postern gate of the castle. So the child was delivered unto Merlin, and so he bare it forth unto Sir Ector, and made a holy man to christen him, and named him Arthur. And so Sir Ector's wife nourished him with her own path.